to terminate the program. So last time it didn't crash, but it didn't show the video either. <clears throat> so let's try that again. I'm going to have to skip the videos, I think. But that's okay. If you're watching a Warcraft 3 playthrough, I assume you've seen all the videos. It'd be nice to watch them again, but it's just... The game is so old, I don't know why, but it struggles on my computer. <clears throat> Somewhere in the Arathi Highlands, Thrall, the young warchief of the Orcish Horde, wakes from his troubling dream. So, uh, <clears throat> Chris Metzen actually wrote all that text. Uh, and he wrote them all in one day. <laughs> times. Find the prophet. Follow the narrator's direction and find the prophet. <clears throat> First, select Thrall. To do this, left click on Thrall in the main room. Excellent. You seem eager to be on your way. However, you must first learn how to give order to Thrall. Try ordering Thrall to move down the path towards the nearby banner. To do this, click the move button in the bottom right corner of your screen and then click on the banner. Really? That's what we taught people to do? <laughs> Move commands can also be issued by selecting yours and then right clicking on I think we should have led with the right clicking rather than doing this. Um, <clears throat> I think we had uh, odd expectations about who would be playing the game. For honor. Skillfully done. <laughs> However, the orc encampment is still far off. In order to reach the next banner, Roll the screen to the north by moving your mouse to the top edge of the screen. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so that voice is uh, that voice is Derek Simmons. He was uh, a producer, I think. Was he a producer at that time? Yeah. He was either in QA or a producer at that time. Um, the original we originally had another guy, someone in the sound department or someone from Cinematics who did the voice, and uh, his voice had a lisp. So he was talking like this and uh, so we went with Derek <laughs> very good the path to the next banner leads through a black area this black area represents terrain that has not been discovered yet oh yeah for honor hmm. notice yeah. how the black area shrinks as Thrall moves through it this reflects areas you have explored uh -huh. thanks Derek Job. <laughs> Select Thrall and order him to move to the banner in the middle of the encampment. Uh, Everything's sort of stretched, honor. stretched out. Oh, tar, my warrior. We are yours to command, war oh, honor. Dance. Are all selected. Order them to move to the next banner. Will he explode? How many? Is yeah. <laughs> that used to do damage. <laughs> I know there's a secret somewhere around here. Prepare yourselves. I sense a no. To order Thrall's forces to defeat this foul creature, select all of your troops, click on the attack button, and then click on the no. <laughs> this is super stretched out. I think I'm gonna just ahead. Order your troops to perform an aggressive attack on the enemy encampment. To do this, select all of your troops. Click the attack button and then left click on the ground in the middle of the null camp. Wow. Your time has come. None will survive. For do hammer. Whenever you play the hero of the I am the warship. None will survive.
If I change the resolution, the monitor goes out of control. I'll not suffer a knoll to live. Spent so much time putting in yes. nice waterfalls everywhere. It's pretty funny. For honor. Thrall is currently low on mana. Use the potion of mana to refresh them. Double. Yes. The Double. wolf howl signifies that night has begun. Be wary, my warriors. Don't let nightfall dull your senses. For honor. There's always... Yeah, there's got to be a secret over here. No? Ah, uh, there must be a... Hey! There it is. Whenever there's a break in the trees, I know that we did something. <laughs> That's where it came from. Magic too, right? Yeah. Let's get on. Yes. For honor. Nothing you can do to a golem. For honor. Uh -oh. Another one. Why are you? This guy wouldn't. I am master. Pathing. Oh, this, this stretchy screen is going to drive me crazy. I'm sad that last golem didn't have an item. Focused on him, huh? Ah, oh, too late. Manual of health. Oh yeah. Very good. 
That treasure chest held a magic tome that can be used to give Thrall a permanent benefit. We were so trying to be an RPG. Oh my gosh. Who made this one? I think this was Tim. So the prologue was actually made at the end of the, the game. Uh, after we'd already made all the other levels. Uh, it was sort of like the last thing we did before we shipped. <laughs> Um, and one of the reasons that the narrator uh, was an internal guy was uh, we just couldn't afford to pay someone <laughs> at that point. Find the profit. Great, we did it. And now, oh, cinematic had to load. It was you I saw in the vision. Who are you? How do you know me? I know many things about you, about you and you. My identity at this time is unimportant. What is it is that you rally your feet and leave these shores and leave. Leave? What's this all about? You? <laughs> I left my humanity. Something different now. Know that I have seen the future, beheld the great burning shadow that is coming to consume this world. You sense this world, don't you? Lightning. All of your questions in time, young watch. For now, rally your warriors and prepare to leave this land. You'll speak again. Lightning. None of this makes sense. The spirits tell me that I should trust him. Continue. Oh, this screen, yeah. I thought we had a secrets. No, I guess we didn't. There was a point where we were talking about uh, making all the secrets listed here, and you can see that you got X out of however many secrets, but we never implemented it. I guess because the secrets were so... No, we could have done it. <laughs> I think it was just timing. Ran out of time. <clears throat> In all those cinematic shots, by the way, we tried so hard to get these great angles where you could like see all the landscape and stuff, and it's like, it's so funny to me now because it's such a goofy looking 3D game. I don't know. I don't know if it's goofy looking, but like, it's old, you know. <laughs> so it's just funny to me. You see that? With the waterfalls and the trees, and you've got foreground objects and background objects. Like, it was really important to the cinematic guys that we do cool looking shots. But it will take them some time to reach us. Then we must prepare this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodging for them. Yes, Warchief. Warrior, has there been any word from Bromhell Screen? Animals flying through shots. So dynamic. He comes back again. <laughs> I, I don't even think that's on purpose. I think that's an accident. The blinking button at the top of the screen indicates that your quest journal has been updated. To find out more about your objective, click on the quest button. What? Oh, right. Build a burrow, build a warm, and build a barracks, train five grunts. Undiscovered. Okay. Once a peon has been ordered to harvest gold, you will automatically travel back and forth between the gold mine and your closest great hall. Here are a few additional peons. To increase the rate of gold collection, order them to harvest. The 
amount of gold that you currently possess is displayed in the upper right portion of your screen. As peons return to your great hall with gold, your gold stockpile increases. You have just placed a rally point for your structure. Whenever a unit finishes training from this building, he will automatically travel to the rally point's location. To place a rally point, select one of your unit producing structures and right click on the ground where you want the rally point. Okay, I need to build. Training a unit takes time. When your great hall is selected, you can see a progress in the bottom middle of spirits is called restless. Yes. We need more gold. Look my god. a larger population, additional orc burrows will have to be constructed. Burrows provided. Now click on the build structure button in the command card. Lumber. Notice that additional buttons are now available in the command card. Construct orc burrow. Click on the build orc burrow button. To increase the rate of which you collect lumber, train additional peons to assign the harvest for the forest. Now move the mouse to where you want the building to be placed. Once you have found an appropriate location, left click to begin construction. Okay, Derek, that's enough. That's enough. Now that your barracks is complete, you can begin training grunts to reinforce your army. To train a grunt, first select your barracks. Oh right, they don't. They don't help. <laughs> we need more gold. Continue producing drugs until you reach your quest requirement. Yes. Dub for honor. Dub. Yes. Work complete. We need more lumber. War mills contain various upgrades that can be researched to improve your troops. To see what upgrades are available, select your war mill. We need more coal. I am. We need more lumber. All available upgrades appear as buttons in the war mills command card. To research an upgrade, left click on the one you want to purchase. 235. I forgot how expensive grunts were. Oh, this bridge doesn't get built until I finish that. Is there even anything out here? There's gotta be some secret or something. <clears throat> There's really not much going on in this level, is there? <laughs> I guess not. Trying to think. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I guess it's the inclusiveness of Blizzard products in that uh, we always assumed, you know, we assumed that there were people who 
had no idea what they were doing. We were going to want to play our games. And we were probably right, I would say. <laughs> No way to fast build. Ah, uh, drives me crazy. Ready to work. I am the watcher. Let's just scout ahead then. Should have built two barracks, huh? Yeah. Can't build there. My life for the Lord. Would have made more sense to build two barracks. Oh well. the wrong oh escape button you screwed me unintentional unintentional you orcs are in violation of the alliance internment act we've already captured one of your leaders if you surrender now we'll spare your lives Warchief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Krom. I hope not. But if they have captured those, I'll make them regret it. Lok Tarogar! Come, <laughs> my warriors. We must drive the humans back. The spirits. Oops. Structures was damaged during the fight. To repair a damaged building, select the peon, click the repair button, and then left click on the desired structure. My life for work more. complete. What was hurt? What building was damaged? No buildings were damaged. What's he talking about? <laughs> Nothing was hurt. Yes. Work, work. Yeah, go chop trees. All you good you chop want. trees. Build some watchtowers or something. Right, Put these on zero. Grunt, grunt, grunt. What? Why are you building here instead of here? doing? I need those feral spirits. Alright. I think we'll more. just bring this guy with us. Let's get on with it. Dub. For honor. None will survive. Because the screen's so stretched, it looks like he's really, really far away. <laughs> Does he do hero damage? No, he does normal damage. But he has hero armor.
for honor. <laughs> Double for honor. What? Whenever I saw crits, I would assume they'd be attackable. Like, oh, they're empty crates. They've been opened. Your time has come. Wait. Yes. Oh. There's a secret there. There's got to be. <laughs> I am. Out of the way. this triggers something. Weird playing vanilla Warcraft because I remember your army has grown to such a large size that it now requires a portion of your income to sustain it. Oh. This maintenance cost is referred to as upkeep. Upkeep. Creepy. There we go. So, believe it or not, upkeep wasn't a, um, why was upkeep added? It was added because, uh, we wanted to keep armies naturally below 100, otherwise the game would explode <laughs> because of the, I mean, at that time, 3D was, uh, having this many units in, in this level of quality was, like, tough. That was tough at that time. So, in order to... We had the hard cap of like 100, but to try and keep the game in the mid-range of units, in the in the like 50s, we put in that uh, upkeep cost. Um, obviously, that ended up not mattering. Uh, when you control multiple spellcasters at the same time, it often becomes necessary to quickly switch between them to cast their individual spells. By using the subgroup interface, you can do so without oh, having this to thing. select them yeah. individually. Notice that the currently selected units are displayed in the bottom middle portion of your screen by little portraits. One of the unit portraits is highlighted with a yellow glow. This means that it is the currently activated subgroup. You can switch between subgroups by pressing the tab key or left clicking on one of the portraits that is not highlighted. This activates that subgroup and displays their spells in your command card. That was one of those ideas to make the game easier for um, bad players. <laughs> ah. In StarCraft 2, of course, you can select like ridiculous amounts of units. Two hits. Oh, that's weird. Let's get on. The spirits are resting. For doom hammer. Nothing? Come on. Master. Ah, this music. I gotta turn it down. Ugh. Ugh. Almost want to turn it off. I just 
<clears throat> it brings uh, flashbacks to uh, unhappy times. Because <laughs> you have to remember the working on this game was not exactly a fun experience at the time. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. Swobo. The spirits are restless. Darby. Huh? Look, regard, yes. The sport chief. We found where they're holding Grom, but the area is protected by Fortmart Dog Towers. Then destroy them. Hillstream must be free. Look, regard. <laughs> Destroy the guard towers. I have to introduce the siege weapons here. Build more burrows. Someone died? Oh, shame. Get out. Really? This one's untargetable. I have to destroy the towers first. We wanted boats so bad, <laughs> like buildable boats that you would build buildings for and all that stuff. Just didn't happen. Scourge of Lordaeron. So it's going to try to play the videos, but it's going to crash. Yeah, it just crashed. <sighs> of course it crashed. Let me see here. Gotta be a way to. It didn't crash before. I don't know why it's crashing now. What if I. I'm gonna change my screen resolution to something that I think it can manage. <laughs> Let's go with. Um... So 2560 by 1080 is not gonna, not gonna cut it. Um, I think at the time 1280, 1280 was probably the best we were going to get. Let me see. Did it just crash again? It did. Oh, wow. <sighs> so I had all this sorted before I started, <clears throat> but the issue is... Um, for some reason now, today, unlike before, the videos uh, the videos simply didn't play before, but now they're literally crashing the game. 
Um, and that's no good. Is there a way to run in windowed mode? Because I think that would solve a lot of the issues. That's right. Let's go 800 by 600. Nope. Application error. Click OK to terminate the program. Oh, that's painful. All right. Well, um, no, well, that's disappointing. But um, now that I know that that problem is there, uh, I'm gonna look into taking care of that. But I don't think I'm going to continue the playthrough today because uh, it's just too painful. Um, <clears throat> no one's asking questions. There's no questions in the chat that I see. So, uh, and there's only two people watching. So thank you both for coming. Uh, I'm gonna stop here and see if I can figure out how to play in a window. I'm pretty sure there was a command I could put in the shortcut to do that. I remember that from uh, from when I was working on it. So I'm gonna look into that and uh, hopefully that'll resolve the issue. Uh, and if not, maybe there's a secret patch or maybe maybe somewhere in the community there's a patch that will fix this. So I'm gonna look into that and uh, I'm gonna continue this um, probably tomorrow around the same time. Alright, thanks.